So hello YouTube. Yesterday I converted my this tool or table into a subwoofer enclosure, and you can see this is Ground Zero GZ GZTW 12 MK2 350 watt RMS subwoofer. This is tuned low to 25 hertz, and this is kind of experiment or project I wanted to do from so long. This is the starting from tool. Uh, you know, in the past I installed subwoofer in my bed. So in future I may make a sofa or a couch or a chair which will have a subwoofer in. Right now I will be sitting on this table and experiencing or stool and experience the low frequency bass into my body. Let's begin. Let me set up a camera. I'm playing some decaf song so this way I can sit and enjoy the music I can feel the loops Volume is just 25. See, 25. Gain is on 50%. Frequency is on 75 hertz. I mean LBF. So nothing exaggerated. And this was performance on 25%. This sub is amazing. I am getting goosebumps whenever I sit onto this tool. So if you want to feel something below 20 hertz because you can't hear it, so this is the way you can do it. Install it directly into the base which will be in contact with your body. And that's how the extreme low end you should uh, enjoy. That is the right way to do it. So is super cool. Anyway, on that that RMS power, it shouldn't be the worry. So I filled this enclosure with polyfill, but I'm not liking it because it's not uh, that efficient. Now I lost around 50% efficiency due to polyfill inside this enclosure. I'll be removing all the polyfill and then we'll be testing it again. 
so this was my video on the crazy experiment to convert my stool into a subwoofer enclosure i hope you liked it if you have any questions drop your comments below and to power this subwoofer i am using this uh, subwoofer amplifier <coughs> it's claimed to be 300 watt rms but i don't expect that much from it i just expect uh, around 150 watt rms or something uh, that's enough for me because this is a uh, home audio i'm not gonna play it loud as i do in my car on full potential so i'm okay with it uh, right now the placement of subwoofer is like this but i will be changing it uh, anytime in future i will be placing it uh, towards me here i sit and work that's why I, that will be better placement for me uh, i had jbl 5.1 soundbar in this room few days ago and you might be drawing that video only that subwoofer can compete this 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 thing will easily eat uh, logitech z623 uh, i have not tested yet uh, logitech z906 maybe that thing will be better but uh, jbl 5.1 soundbar has a 10 inch subwoofer very big subwoofer the enclosure was pretty much the same uh, if not this much but little smaller than this one but that sub is also insane and in that test, test i placed the subwoofer over here because it was a wireless subwoofer but this is not a wireless sub and considering that i'm pretty happy with this but i feel from inside this sub is asking for even more even bigger enclosure this sub is not happy in this enclosure it needs a big enclosure so let me try uh, more and more experiments this is a uh, diy stuff and you know if you don't like this kind of experiment then don't fall for it uh, because this is expensive uh, thing uh, in all this investment like this am this enclosure and this subwoofer i could have easily brought an active sub but as i am crazy for audio i wanted to try this out to learn more and to experiment more so if you are that kind of guy then only invest your time in all this otherwise you can go and bring some actives up from market overall i spent around i believe six seven around 16 to 17 thousand indian rupees on this uh, active subwoofer setup i'm talking about only this sub enclosure and that, that amplifier okay nothing else so this is kind of active subwoofer setup and i am pretty enjoying it but uh, i'll be key i'll keep experimenting so i request you to subscribe to my channel next time i will try a different enclosure a different sub so thanks for watching if you have any questions drop your comments below stay tuned live loud